Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Fola Shadi Ogunde. The Ebony State Governor Dave Umai on Thursday said some criminals are committing crimes under the guise of the Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOB, and Eastern Security Network, ESN, in Southeast. The governor revealed this during an interview on a television program in Lagos. Umayi further explained that criminals employed these tactics because it is safer for them to say they are members of ESN and IPOB. The governor urged Southeast governors to rise against the ugly trend of attacks on security outfits, especially police stations in the region. Prominent traditional rulers, mainly from Ogun West Senatorial District, went en masse to the National Assembly on Thursday for the public hearing on the bill for the upgrade of some tertiary institutions to universities. The proposed institutions are Federal University of Technology, Yaba, University of Technology, Ilaru, and the Nigerian French Language Village as an inter-university center for French studies. The senator representing Lagos West Senatorial District, Solomon Adiola, is the sponsor of the three bills. The Federal Operations Unit, Zone A of the Nigeria Customs Service, yesterday intercepted 42 drums of calcium carbide smuggled into the country from Benin Republic. The acting customs area controller of the unit, Usman Yahaya, while displaying the explosives and other contrabands in Lagos, said that aside from the calcium carbide, the unit also seized contrabands worth 3.1 billion naira and raised demand notice worth 242 million naira. The controller who said the unit acted based on credible intelligence disclosed that the explosives were smuggled into the country through the porous borders under the Ogun State Command of the service. Amid the sharp spike in COVID-19 infections, Air India said due to restrictions implemented by British authorities, it was cancelling flights to and fro from the UK for one week, starting April 24. The airline announced that two flights destined to Britain originated, originating from Delhi and Mumbai on Friday have also been cancelled. Britain has placed India on its travel red list over a surge in COVID-19 cases. And in business, the International Air Transport Association, IATA, on Wednesday revised its airline economic performance forecast for the year 2021 putting net post-tax losses focus at $47.7 billion in 2021 as against $38 billion projected in December. The report noted that although large airlines have raised sufficient cash to cover the projected losses, many smaller airlines haven't and will need government aid or raise more cash from the banks or capital markets. However, the report explained that losses from African region might be minimal due to relaxed international travel restrictions. Three Swedish, uh, Swedish members of the European Special Forces mission in Mali were slightly hurt late Wednesday by a roadside bomb in the east of the country. In a statement by Swedish military, two of the soldiers have returned to duty and the third is under medical observation. Sweden has committed 150 troops to Takuba, a coalition of European Special Forces that supports Mali's troubled armed forces in a nine-year-old campaign against jihadists. And on the sporting scene, the three top-rated teams are the National Women Football League, Premiership Super 6, Edo Queens, Bielsa Queens and Rivers Angels, who today at the Depot Dina International Stadium, Jabode, be presented with the opportunity to redeem themselves and again play their teams back into contention. Unless they redeem their aspirations in today's match day three, they will be put out of contention for the league title and tickets for the WAFOB qualifiers for the CAF Women Championship Leagues. And that's it on our package. Thank you for watching. I am Fola Shadi for Green Day.